Hey, hey, you guys, it's Christina from The Purple Alphabet. These little kits are all the rage. There's so many things to do inside of here because they inspire open-ended play. They are dough tinker kits, and they include some dough and some little trinkets so that your kids can use their imagination and create what they want. It's child-based play. Today's video, I'm gonna show you how to make one using all Dollar Tree materials. Yes, everything from the box to what's inside is from a Dollar Tree, and I can't wait to show you what we're doing for this month. Biggest question I always get is what box do I use? I like the ones from Dollar Tree because they're $1.25 and I like that they're flat and stackable. So if you have several of them, you can just stack them and just really nice way to store them. This particular one comes from the hardware section from the tool bench line. There is a similar one that's over in the office supplies. It has a little lump on the front of it. Very similar box, just a little bit harder to stack. So if you can find that one, that one works too. If not, this is another good option. I'll try to find one on Amazon and maybe link that down below for you guys. I'm having trouble taking off my sticker here. Just give me a minute and we'll fill this baby up. There we go. Very impressed with my sticker taking offing skills. <laughs> All right, we're gonna fill this box up with some dough first. You have several different options from Dollar Tree for the dough and it depends on what you can find. Sometimes you can find these little mini jar containers, which are great. They actually do fit inside here too. So you don't even have to take them out of the container. You can just keep them in there and be ready to go. Well, actually maybe it doesn't fit very well. Okay, so I lied. <laughs> maybe one will fit in there okay, <laughs> but it is an option. Otherwise you can wrap them in plastic so that way they don't dry out, which is kind of what I have here from a previous box. You can also find these large bags of dough and I actually personally like the dough from Dollar Tree. I know some people don't. I do. I think it's fine. It doesn't have a scent like Play-Doh does, which is really great and it upholds really well and it feels really nice. So I just like it. You can use any dough that you already have. That's another tip that I have for you guys. I'm going to add more in here is to use what you have. Yeah, I know. It's an amazing thought, right? Here I am telling you to get more and more and more, buy this, buy that, but use what you have first because it works just the same. I'm just gonna add some more to this because I don't think there's enough in here because it's the only color I'm going to use for this box. I'm sticking with my Christmas holiday theme of red and green for this box, but you can use whatever colors you want or have. There we go, that works. And these are Tinker Boxes dough kits. So of course you're gonna have some dough in here. Just gonna knead this together, make it look nice and pretty. The great thing about these dough and Tinker Boxes is that they are meant to inspire imaginative play, open-ended play, where your child is leading and deciding what the materials are used for. So you are just supplying materials for them to use to create, to use their imagination, to play with, to do whatever inspires them. All right, so I'm including some red dough, wrapping it in plastic so it just kind of last longer. If you're going to use your kit right away and put things away right away, you don't have to do the plastic thing. I just think it's nicer to have it because my kids aren't going to use it right away. So we got some red dough in there and we are going to add other things. You can add more colors dough if you wish. This box, I didn't have any problem finding things to put inside because there's so many things right now at Dollar Tree for the holidays. It's just amazing. One of my favorite finds I just found yesterday. So I'm so happy that I waited to make this video because they now have these in stock and that's the Christmas Village pieces. So you can get this little set of three characters. In fact, I have two that they had. So this one has a Christmas tree in it. There's a little um, person holding a child and then another person looks like throwing a snowball. And then this one has a little Santa mailbox. How cute. A little snowman and Santa. So I thought this would be perfect because I've got people for <laughs> my little tinker box. And most certainly you can use these year after year. So please do not feel like you have to like buy it and use it once. You want to look for things when you're shopping for these boxes that can be reused. Of course, you might have to clean it off from all the dough, but you can reuse them. This is my favorite, Santa. Oh my gosh, so cute. Put Santa in there and little snowman in there. We have the mailbox, which feels like an extra accessory. I don't know, maybe he should be separate. Put our little Santa mailbox there. We have this other one here that came with a Christmas tree. I'm actually gonna be adding other trees in here too because it came with a set. It's okay. Cute person throwing a snowman, our snowball, our Christmas tree. Hmm, let's put our people over here. Oh, these are so adorable. Very impressed, Dollar Tree. Uh, yeah, accessories over there. So with those two items plus our dough, we're pretty much halfway filled with box, but don't worry, I've got more. 
Pom poms right now are at Dollar Tree. You can buy them in the individual colors in the craft section, or you can get the multiple color, the red, white, and green in the Christmas section. So depending on what you want, you can do that. Or if you have your own already, you can just take out your little white ones and put them in. I'm choosing just to do white instead of all the colors because I feel like they're kind of like snowballs, right? I kind of feel like snow, at least they do to me. So we're gonna add those in there. Thought that would be a fun item to have. Kind of interested to see how they'll translate those into their play. You can do more colors, different sizes. Sometimes I just, I have a big bin full of all these little pom-poms. I just pull out the color I need sometimes. That works just as well. Wanted to add in these mini trees. I picked these because they look like they were snow flocked. There's eight of them in here and they're like miniature version of bottle tree brushes. I mean, so cute, so cute. I know I have this Christmas tree up here, but I was just kind of feeling that these would be my be a little fun to, to have non Christmas tree ish, right? Tell me those are not cute. I want to put all of them. Why not? You can make a forest. Love that. Let's add in our next item. Ha ha, wooden shapes. So many wooden shapes right now for crafts. You can paint them if you wanted to. I just thought these were fun. They look like little gingerbread or even people. So I thought that might be a fun addition. Let's see, where are we gonna put those? Let's put those down in here. And of course you don't have to include all of them to enough or you can include all of them, I guess. <laughs> They're so cute, I can't get over it. Okay, I'm gonna do all of them. The wooden pieces are just a really nice tinker tray item. Do we love those or do we not love those? Love them. Next up, I have some bows in those same color scheme that I'm trying to go with, the red and the green. These have ties on the back. So listen, it depends on your child. Of course, you're gonna need to supervise. And these are not for kids that are oral, meaning they put things in their mouth. If your child does that, these are not for you because all of these items are obviously chokeable, you know, choking hazards. So you're going to want to supervise. If you have a really young child, my kids are old enough to know not to do that. So I would include these little ties on the back and keep them on. You can always cut these off and not even keep them on or even wrap them up a little bit more, like just keep on wrapping them around the bow. I'm going to opt to keep them on because I think this provides an option to do things, to tie things on, to just work with them more. So I'm going to keep those little tie pieces on. I just think it gives them more options and if your child's not putting things in their mouth then it will actually work out. This comes with 12 so I think that's a pretty good deal. Now these are meant for like putting on to wreaths or putting on Christmas trees or little presents but I thought they'd be fun for our little tinker box. Okay, we got some bows. We got another spot to fill in and I would like to put in some wooden stars, more wooden shapes. I am just in love with these and these are another great op option to use year round too. Not year round, from year to year. Actually, you could use them year round, like 4th of July. That'd be a good time to use them. You can paint them. I don't think they're all gonna fit in here. Nope, they're all not gonna fit. So that's all I got in there. Okay, so cute. And then one more thing. One more thing I wanted to put right here in this spot right here, the Scrabble tiles. Now, I haven't seen the Scrabble tiles in a while yet, but if you can find them, or maybe you have some at home, it might be a really fun addition. I've included, can you unscramble the letters I put? I included the word or the letters for Santa and they can be unscrambled. And I just thought it might be a fun addition because we have a Santa in our box. So our Scrabble tiles are just a really fun addition and we'll put those right in there and see if our kids will figure it out. <laughs> so there you have it. This is our Christmas Tinker dough box. I have more ideas for these boxes, a whole playlist filled with them. So I'm gonna put that up here on screen so you can get even more ideas from all those Dollar Tree items that you can use to make your own dough kit. You guys click subscribe to see more videos like this and give me a thumbs up to show your love.